a love of my own. Mm -hmm. A love of your own is what I just heard. Most High is in control of this. What's up, y'all? It's me, Tori and Goddess, coming in with a quick message. Like, dislike, subscribe, y'all. Hit the bell. Y'all been rocking with me? Hit the thumbs up. You can hit the thumbs down, too. Welcome to everybody passing through. I heard it's, it's somebody just passing through. You ain't hit the bell, but you didn't scroll. So the G's got something for you. I come with the actual factuals. I'm here to get you hip to what you already hip to or hip you want to what may be hidden. Ain't nothing but love here. I call upon the highest white light. All of my angels and my ancestors are front and center, period, point blank, period, point blank. We about to check this energy and see what's going on, though. A love of your own. Hey, you got a love of your own. Relish in it. Yes, it's beautiful, isn't it? Knowing that you don't have anyone lying to you. Knowing that that person is yours and all yours. Let's make it official, I heard. Let's make it official. Earth signs, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Let's make it official. Shoot. You didn't have that high-pitched ringing in your ears. You're receiving information from your spiritual team. Your frequency level, your vibration, it has ascended. And you possess clairaudience, which is the ability to connect with your heavenly team. You can hear your angels and your ancestors. You can feel them. You can sense them. Pay attention to that number you keep seeing, too. Pay attention to it. My fellow Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a bowl of sea salt and water in your home will cleanse unwanted energy. The use of prayers or mantras to help create a healthy energy field. Say no to drama and energy vampires. Cleanse yourself and your space of unwanted negative energy. I do that. I haven't done that where I am right now, but... I do that. That bowl of sea salt and water, it most definitely will collect all that that negative energy. At the bottom of my deck, I have t-shirt and panties on. You got your t-shirt and your panties on, sis? Or is one of my masculines looking at the love of their own and their t-shirt and panties? T-shirt and my panties on. T-shirt and my panties on. Ha <laughs> ha. Shoot. You didn't stay prayed up. You've been chanting and singing those affirmations, those positive affirmations. I hope you're paying attention to that ringing in your ears. Mine's ring all day, every day, and it, I, it's like I can never cut it off. It's like I can never cut it off. My divine heavenly team is always speaking to me always speaking to me even when i don't have these cards in my hand y'all and by the way these are messages that i made myself yeah i have um written out every 78 tarot card i have and i have my own intuitive angel messages as well so somebody Somebody falling up under that earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. You got somebody coming in. You do. You got somebody coming in with this five of wands energy. This person doesn't have a toxic disposition. Where's my brush? This person does not have a toxic disposition. But I do hear... That this person was toxic in the past. They coming towards you though. They are. They coming towards you. And. I don't feel as though it's going to be an imitation. You're going to feel like it's some type of contradictions going on though. 
That's what I heard. You're going to feel like there's some contradictions going on. But you know what? You got to let go of that stinking thinking. This person isn't toxic. They're not. They're not toxic. Or at least they're not trying to come in toxic. What else? This is going to be a short message. 521 on the clock. What's crossing you right now is your intuition. Queen of Hearts energy. You love hard. That's what I'm seeing. You love real hard. You're loyal. And shit. Oh, you just wanted somebody to match your energy. To love you just as hard. You know what I'm saying? To be loyal to you. And I feel as though that's what's coming towards you. Someone with a very loving intelligence. Such as yourself. With the gift of vision. A successful person, too. They're going to be a pleasure to be around because shit, y'all going to be able to talk for hours about everything. This person is very wise. They could be a good mother or a good father. Um, but, you know, you're going to feel like you can't trust this person. You're going to feel like you can't trust this person because of how they coming in is what I just heard. They may be dishonoring, um, you may feel as though that they're dishonoring somebody from their past because they fled, is what I heard. They fled, and it's the design of it all, um, but it's meant that y'all cross paths. A love of my own. Mm. Yes, this person is going to be all yours, though all yours it's this connection this connection what i'm saying it's going to be monumental it's going to be monumental with this five of cups energy this person i'm feeling like it's a masculine so i could be speaking to my feminine energies but don't have to be right um this person, ear itching, may have inherited something, some money. Yeah, some type of gift from their um, legacy, maybe from their father. This person may be married or getting out of a marriage. They're, they, they, it's like, it was a, a bittersweet ending, you know. Um, they may have kids as well. But this person, you know, they left this connection because they love hard and they was loyal. And this, this person that they were with, they became frustrated within this connection because they got the news that they had, you know, made alliances somewhere else. This is karma, too. It's karma, and however it may sound, it's in your favor. It is. It's in your favor. I feel as though you've paid up a lot of karmic debt. You may have been going through a whirlwind of cockamamie bull crap too. You understand what I'm saying? Um, hmm. Yeah, this person has buried this connection deep. If they're not widowed or a widower, take it where it resonates. I don't know if you've met this person yet or, you know, or are you with this person, y'all? Comment and let me know. Shoot, y'all can say something to me. <laughs> but they, they feel like they are in like a, destructive energy or they could have been in a destructive energy because this is something that they did and they passed and you know they tighten up their bootstraps and they started walking the chalk line period point blank but I feel as though you two are in the same energy so y'all might be hesitant on one another but guess what it's gonna happen it's gonna happen I, I, I am talking to one of my queens you have a king coming. <laughs> you have a king coming who is going to be very loyal, 
faithful, honest. It's going to be endearing, too. <laughs> it's going to be very endearing. And when I feel, what I feel is that this person is very fair. This person can have a business. They can be um, in some type of law, maybe a police officer, um, security guard, a lawyer. Um, they're going to come to you, but they're going to be very creative about how they profess what it is they want with you, what type of connection they want to you. It's going to be some type of art that they are going to create with this connection. It's going to be tailor-made, and it's going to come from them. You know, the initiation process is how I'm going to put it, 1105 on the clock. It's going to feel like it's an initiation. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you you know, you've cut yourself off from the dating scene for a while. Yeah, sugar book. You cut yourself off from the dating scene for a while, and that's okay. <laughs> you've been tucking yourself away. And matter of fact, what I just heard is that most high in your G's and your ancestors have kept you hidden in plain sight. In plain sight, you have backed up from people, places, and things that you know no longer serve you. feel like you've been paying attention to that ringing in your ear. Paying attention to that number you see and how you feel. If not, please, please start to do so when you see that number. How you feeling with it? And then correct that energy if it's negative and those thoughts that stinking thinking. Mm -mm. Stay vibing high. The G said old ways will not open new doors. You're going to have to use an, a different approach with this person coming in. You see, because this person is unlike anybody that you've ever been with. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> ever. They're going to come in like a Mack truck, though. It's going to seem like it's going to start off kind of slow. But I'm feeling like it's going to take off so quick. It's going to take off so quick. It's going to be a little apprehensive and fearful at first, though. Feeling like, you know, that same enemy from the past is at the gate. At the gate. Yeah. Because somebody was disloyal to you in the past. But like I said, old ways not going to open new doors. This person isn't coming in as an enemy. This person is coming in something like, like a knight in shining arms. <laughs> something like a knight in shining arms. Very genuine. They're going to be 100 with you. They're going to be 100 with you. It's going to boost you up. It's going to be like a conquering conquest, too, because if you pull back, they just going to step. They just going to step to the plate. They're going to step forward. That is what they're going to do. I feel like. This is going to be a. A deep, soulful connection. <laughs> Very profound in nature. Where you weren't satisfied in the past, you most definitely going to be satisfied with this person. And they're going to use great force to climb off in your heart and not collide with your soul, but with your spirit. Y'all going to teach one another about your 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 quirks and your likes and your dislikes but you know i'm feeling like this person gonna already know what it is that you want they gonna already know what it is that you want this person is a doer not a talker they a lover not a fighter all they gonna want to do is love on you 
They're going to want to love on you. This person is a gift. Your angels and your ancestors are gifting you with this person. They feel as though you didn't you didn't been through the ringer already. Now it was time for you to jump up out of the fight the ring of fire and 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 have your spirits dampened in the most delicate way. Hmm. So use your imagination, right? You've seen life as like the glass half empty in the past, right? This person, it, you know, I'm feeling like it, this may not be um, a long-term connection. But they're coming in as a gift. Yeah, this person is going to desire you. You've been manifesting some feel-good energy. You know, surrounding yourself with positive energy. You have instilled this attainment willed it, imagined it, reflected on how it would feel. So I feel as though you've been obedient too. You've been obedient. You've 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 taken a look at yourself and how you were operating in this matrix and just going willy-nilly and just playing things by ear but not listening to that high-pitched ringing in your ears who was that your angels and your ancestors <laughs> your angels and your ancestors this person is going to create a lot of prosperous moments within you within you and for you now, see, we all got free will, right? You can accept this gift that they send into you, or you can shoo it away. I feel like somebody likes the country life or is living in the country life, and this place that you're at is like a haven of, it's like a haven. Like you, you sought refuge somewhere. Harmony has been restored to where, you know, in the past, you know, you were embellishing on, you were embellishing about how happy you were, and I don't feel as though you were really happy. You're going to have a repose of your heart, honey. It's a domestic harvest coming to you. It is. Now... I don't know what you have in mind. It may be a power struggle to be had as well. This person is a know-it-all. I feel as though you feel like you know everything once or twice. You're dang on self, right? So, you know, y'all may bump heads in the beginning. That will make it feel like you want it to be short-lived. Now, I feel like you should go about things from a different perspective. Look at life now through a different perspective and envision yourself being happy, contented, and harmonizing Your, your 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 soul's journey is what I just heard. So this relationship can be successful. This connection 
it can be successful. It can be very fortunate. It can be a step up in your realm of being. Or it can be oppressed. It's all about how you go about it, right? It's going to be a powerful connection, though. This person is coming, and they're going to want to always see you with your T-shirt and your panties on. This can be a small build, masculine, slim stature, light skin, fair skin, who is being divinely guided towards you. I'm saying you're a divine being and you've been divinely guided and divinely protected on your path. Mm -hmm. That's what the G said. The answer is yes. Yes, it's going to happen. It's going to happen this go round. Rule number one, though, don't panic. It won't be any instigation. None at all. Won't be any instigation. They're going to encourage a radical change in you. They're going to antagonize you and your situation. You know, you were in the hangman energy, stagnant. It was like a waiting game for you. And you surrender to the light is what I see. Somebody may have just had surgery. Get well soon. Small procedure, out clinic, minor surgery. Well, that's something that can be coming up, right? Somebody don't want you to go either. Somebody don't want to be disconnected from you. You may have had a fight or an altercation with somebody, right? The, the connection... Is, is it's not strong anymore, right? It's not the connection is not strong anymore, and and that's a clue of whose hatred has been blocked. Mm -hmm. Whose hatred has been blocked? That's somebody that you don't deal with anymore. But you know what? The G says, "Stay encouraged. It's not the end of your world." <laughs> You're almost at the finish line. Almost at the finish line. They want you to act your age, too. They want you to act your age. Don't, don't flip out at all. Somebody is coming towards you. It's going to be a big social gathering you may be going to. Perhaps a dinner, a get-together. Maybe a bar, a club, or a lounge. Parking lot pimping, maybe. This person... Or you could be on the West Coast, Western States. I feel like this person coming in from the Western States, though. Don't have any poor judgment, okay? Don't, 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 don't judge this person because this isn't your regular everyday activity. It's not. It's, it's not going to be your regular everyday activity. And using poor judgment is going to make everything 10 times harder. Everything 10 times harder. Stay put is what the G said. It's good there. It's good there. Wherever you at right now, this is where you're going to just run into this person. Have fun, okay? See you.